To have a closer look at an FM receiver, let's walk through a diagram piece by piece. We've got a microphone which takes some voice in. This is going to be used in order to create an input signal. It goes into an audio processor. This is combined with a carrier frequency which is generated by the voltage controlled oscillator. The result is a signal that carries our information but is not sufficiently powerful enough to be transmitted up through an antenna. To do this amplification process, we need to go through two stages. There's an exciter stage, which amplifies the result to one level of output, and then a power amplifier, which drives it up to another output level sufficient for it to be transmitted through the transmitter antenna. The receive process is very similar. A transmission is captured by the receive antenna and fed into an R frequency selector. It goes into a mixer where it's combined with a carrier which is generated by local voltage controlled oscillator, the VCO. The result is then fed into an IF signal amplifier, IF because it's reduced in frequency to make a filtering process that's required to strip out the carrier easier. And then the signal is demodulated and the result is fed into an audio section which amplifies the result so that it can be fed into a speaker. An FM transceiver simply combines an FM transmitter and an FM receiver in a single unit. As this diagram shows, their receiver section of the transceiver is the same as we've already seen in the FM receiver section, and similarly for the FM transmitter.